And welcome to Grandma's Corner in a Wealthy Place. And we are here with Grandma Wells and we'll receive a wealth of wisdom and information. And today is a special tutorial. Yes, Grandma Wells, she makes jewelry. Your eyes are not deceiving you. So how are you this afternoon, Grandma Wells? Oh, I'm doing great. But what do you have here before us? I see quite a bit of beautiful jewelry. So tell us about your jewelry making, Grandma Wells. How did you get started? Oh, I started about 12 years ago when I joined the senior center at my church. And we had a lady come in and teach us how to make jewelry. She uh had the necessary tools and instruction and she uh, was very patient in helping us and instructing us on how to go about shopping and whatnot. It was very, I found it very interesting. So tell us Grandma Wells a little bit of, of some of the jewelry I see that you have over there. I see some bracelets and I see some necklaces but I also see some tools over there uh, what what do you use to be able to help you make the jewelry? Can you show us some of the tools that you use? Well, first of all, we have an instruction book, and that has uh, information on what we need to get started, and uh, it, it's quite helpful. Can you hold uh, the book up again so yeah. we can everybody can we can see what that says? Yeah. The front yeah. the front page. Let me see the front. No, the very front. Yes. Mm -hmm. Big B jewelry. Okay. You got some big B jewelry over there. And the jewelry, the beautiful jewelry you're wearing now. Did you make that, Grandma Wells? Yes, I did. Oh wow, that's a beautiful mm -hmm. necklace and bracelet. I like that. I'm gonna have to borrow that. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to borrow that permanently. <laughs> yeah. Okay. In addition, in addition to the uh instruction book, you can always uh also go online and uh they had teaching classes in uh on the computer. Uh, oh, wow. That's a lot of pretty jewelry. But, uh, okay. So we have the instruction book. So what else do you have over there, Grandma? Well, that's a part of your trades, yeah. uh, uh, tools of the trade. <laughs> yeah. The number of tools that we need uh, to get started and uh, material for uh, the different types of ribbon, uh, that you need. Um, first, uh, you have a cutting board, ha ha a training board that you can lay your jewelry out on your beads out so you know how to, uh, whether you're going to practice uh, making uh, a single uh, strand necklace. I can go, go to three strands. It all depends on what you want to get started with. This is just some of the beads. But uh, it's interesting going to the different uh, fabricer stores. Uh, you can order a number, order bees, and you can also get them from the thrift store. Yes, you certainly <laughs> I can. Did, I did get a lot of mine. But uh, this is one of the necklaces that I started working on. I uh, need to. Uh, Continue this, but you can measure. It's like three different sizes so that you can measure for, uh, for a long strand, or you can make double or triple strand strands of beads. And these are also uh, the beads come in uh, on different uh, ways, and you can select. What can you, you turn need. that around, also, Grandma mm -hmm. Wells, so they can see? Yeah. Okay, so some of you already come color coordinated. Mm -hmm. And, uh, now, can you use just beads, Grandma Wells, or are there yeah, other you, things you can use? You can use buttons, um, felt, if you have old sweaters, old quilts that you Ooh. want to throw away, and even uh, socks and uh, wool. There's a number of things. I'm not that, uh, don't have that expertise for using all the extra stuff, but I just like working with the simple beads. See here some of the buttons. Oh, cool. Never would have thought mm -hmm. about using buttons. I guess some yeah. stones too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, if oh, those you are pretty. want more precious stones, you have to order and will naturally uh, pay more for it. But then there's a lot of good instructions and um, 
it's relaxing. I started, I say like about 10 or 12 years ago, I had uh, copper tunnel in my fingers and had physical therapy, but I find handling the beads helps somewhat. I still have to practice. Oh, cool. But, uh, the braces can be made uh, single, double, or you, as long as you want. Oh, I mm -hmm. like those. Yes. Yeah, so, well, I have uh, some that you've even made that I've, I use, Grandma, and I don't use them just as the bracelets. I use them as my anklets. Oh, I use it as ankle for, jewelry. Yes. Yeah, so, I find it quite relaxing, and sometimes I would work into the wee hours of the night uh, making these uh, bracelets. And uh, sometimes uh, we would sell them at uh, flea markets or if we had uh, activities at our center as well. I also make earrings. I'm not too good at that, but uh, there are different kind of wires and ribbon that you use uh, for the bracelets and the neck that you ha uh, It comes in certain uh, lengths and certain uh, qualities. Uh, yeah, I see different colors there as well, Grandma Wells. And they also the little container has the uh, necessary things to make the earrings, to make the little clasps to, uh, to finish off your necklaces, and uh, also um, the clasps that uh, help uh, help your bracelets too. The bracelets uh, can be put on wire. Or you can use elastic and tie it tight, and we also we had to use the glue uh, for the elastic braces to make sure that they don't come apart. So it's an interesting hobby. Okay. Well, Grandma Wells, can you hold up a few more of the bracelets and let oh, us see yes, the different yes. colors and yes, and, yes. and 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 let you let your fan base know that yes, some of these are for sale. Yes. Get your original grandma's corner jewelry yes. right here. I like to make those that will go around your wrist two or three times. But they're uh, beautiful. And, uh, yes, um, I have uh, necklaces to match some of the bracelets and the earrings can match some, and they can use different colors. Uh, I have made the red, white, and blue, and sold them for a. Uh, Patriotic holidays. But these are just some of them. That, uh, and are they just for adults or you have some for the children? For the children too. Occasionally I have made uh, gifts for my granddaughters, uh, my daughters for a special holiday, and even for friends. It's a, per, a handmade gift. It makes a nice gift. Uh, it's uh, greatly appreciated. Yes, sir. Uh, Oh, I love that pretty uh, coral blue or aqua blue or a variety just, of blues. Just let your imagination run wild. But so, so, like I say, some of the uh, stones, uh, the beads are, are very expensive. I have a friend that orders hers from Africa. I have wow. from a certain uh, area, and naturally they uh, cost more. But and I like the pretty yellow one. You are my sunshine. That's one of your favorite <laughs> songs with the the yellow bracelet with the yeah. butterflies on it. That would be yeah. great for a pretty yeah. little girl would would love that. Yeah. The bracelet with the butterflies yeah. and the yellow and sunshine, especially for summer officially being here next week. And by the time this uh, the video was shown today, Sunday, but next Sunday or next weekend will be the official summer. So that would be a beautiful gift and even graduation gifts yeah and this is uh, one of the necklaces that i started on i need additional beads but uh you have to be careful uh when you uh, select a wire long enough and then there's a class that you put on to hold the wire in place and you lay, lay it out on your board so that you can get an idea how long it's going to be before you get started and in addition to um, placing them on your fingers, you, there are uh, beading needles that you can use to uh, help uh, get the beads strong. And I find that beneficial too. But that was 
that's about it. I enjoy doing it. I find it relaxing, and I can work until the late hours, uh, getting some beads made. Well, Grandma Wells, thank you so much for sharing your beautiful jewelry. I've already marked my pieces <laughs> over here for the for, for for the necklaces and 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 can I, can I cash app you? <laughs> No, yeah. or you just want cash? Huh? <laughs> Bump that cash app. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll make sure that the price. cash app you or send it through Facebook. <laughs> well, Grandma Wells, that is beautiful. I'm um I have always been a fan of your jewelry and love it. Your number one fan, but also again, you can too, and also get your grandma's jewelry. You just let us know if there's specific specific colors that you want. Grandma, will you do speci special special um, request jewelry for special um, colors and special designs? Yes, I can do it to Walmart or Joanne's <laughs> Fabric when I do go out and get some special uh, beading material, uh, whatever is needed to fill out the request. Wonderful. Well, there will also be pictures on a wealthy place website at www.awealthyplace.org. There are pictures of Grandma Wells's jewelry, her bracelets, and her necklaces will be also on display. And you can also see other episodes of Grandma's Corner in a wealthy place on the website as well. So thank you for coming, stopping by, and sharing with this tutorial. There would be other tutorials and other things that Grandma Wells will be sharing with you. So we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Yes. Thank you.